Hi, I'm Fumika from the Face Yoga Method. I truly believe what you eat is who you are, and whatever you put in your skin or whatever you eat really affect your health and beauty. And I love to cook and I love to eat. And today we have a special guest, Manuel. He's gonna share some wonderful secret from Peru. And Manuel Viracota, he's a nationally recognized award-winning registered dietitian with 16 years of experience. And he's the author of Eating Free and the founder of Eating Free, an international weight management and a wellness program. He's born and raised in Peru, and he lives in San Francisco and have a San Francisco-based private practice. It's called MB Nutrition. Okay, Manuel, welcome to the Face Yoga Method, and thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Miko. How are you today? Pretty good. How are you? Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so I'm so excited because I have your new book. Peruvian yes. power foods and I have to say this is so beautiful not only the information but photos I think you took these photos right I did I took over 2,000 photos oh. of course not all photos made it to the book right there's a lot of love work in there oh you know 2,000 photos I mean I have five books too and I know yes. how yes. much time you have to spend and how you have to choose you know this photo and that photo and when I look this photo it's like a travel book and I love this one you know the idea I wanted to not only talk about the health benefits and, and the foods but also take them to Peru that's why I went to Peru you know I could have done the research here in the United right. States published the book but you know I said I need to go back to my homeland Peru I'm from Peru right I go back so I went to the Andes went to the Amazon farmers markets farms restaurants and took all the photos from there Oh gosh, I'm so impressed. And I love it. It says the book is a labor of love. I mean, I feel it. Yeah. And also so easy to, I mean, I, you know, I love to cook, but I have to have a photo. I'm a very visual person. And if my, you know, my cookbook is not visually impressive or beautiful, I kind of lose interest. So I think you did a wonderful job. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And I even tried some of your super um, power food recipes. Which recipe did you try? Tell me. <laughs> I tried the avocado and, uh, you know, the shrimp on top. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's so easy, but I don't know where is it. But beautiful. And that's... Yes. Yeah. Um, oh, uh, love it. I love it. Yeah. And I was impressed because, you know, you even have a cocktail. Oh, yes. Yeah. I love food. I like cocktails. I, I right. like serves. Even though I'm a dietitian, I like good food. And I believe on eating everything in moderation. You don't have to mm -hmm. cut everything. I always say if 80% of your diet comes from healthy foods, yep. you can have fun 20%. I, 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 tr I trust you. I mean, I totally, totally agree with you. So let's talk about this new book, Peruvian Power Foods. I have a lots of questions to ask you, so just bear with me. Okay, so tell me, what inspired you to, you know, make this Peruvian Power Foods book? Because, like you said, you took so many photos, and you have almost over, like, 100 recipes. Is it 101 recipes? One recipe. Yeah. yeah. So what, you know, what inspired to you? I mean, well, I mean, lately, I mean, I feel that, uh, you know, people are so worried about what to eat, uh -huh. what to take out of their, their diet. Everybody's right. always talking about cut out this, cut out that. You know, I felt it is time to tell people what they need to be eating. Right. And, uh, and you know, and why not also, since I'm from Peru and I know a lot of these foods are coming into this country already, why not concentrate on educating people on the amazing benefits of Peruvian power foods? That's what really triggered me to, to you know, start thinking, you know, Peruvian food is becoming so popular. Mm -hmm. Well, let's talk about the health benefits of some of these amazing foods. Right. And uh, I believe, you know, we should enjoy the food. Why not? You know, we live and enjoy the food. And, you know, I have to admit sometimes when I'm having breakfast I'm thinking about lunch and dinner like oh what I want to eat and what I'm gonna cook yeah it's so important for me I can't I can't just skip meals I mean that that's me but 
um, you mentioned about the uh, you know healthy food, and most Americans um, are familiar with at least four of Peruvian power foods like uh, avocado and beans and cilantro and sweet potatoes, which you know I didn't know that they are from Peru originally. But yeah, what specific properties give each you know its superfood status? Yeah, so I mean, there's a lot of definitions of superfoods, and uh, what I I define superfood as a hardworking food. Mm-hmm. What I mean by that is not just providing nutrition and vitamins and minerals, but actually these foods are giving you health benefits. Right. And most of these foods do that because they have not only vitamins and minerals, but they have phytochemicals. Mm. It's a natural occurring chemical in food, and not only. Aside from phytochemicals, they have antioxidants, and they have been proven to give you health benefits as well. So it's not just nutrition, but also a pack of health benefits. Right. So when you say health benefit means, of course, for beauty too, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Most of these foods give you the anti-aging. We all want to feel not just from the outside, from the outside, but the inside, you know, to feel energized, to feel that you have vitality and, 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 and you increase your performance when you exercise, feel young. That's the whole idea. Right. Well, that's why when I heard about you, I said, yes, this is a guy because, you know, for me, it's so important, of course, how you look, but how you look is because of how you feel and how you feel is because of what you eat. So it's all connected. It is very connected. Yep. And they enjoy the moment, enjoy the life. So that's my philosophy. So let's uh, let me ask you. Um, we've all heard about the health benefit of adopting the traditional diets, like uh, you know Mediterranean and Asian uh, countries. And why aren't more Americans uh, familiar with the health benefit of eating like Peruvian? I mean, of course, it's a fast food and everybody's busy. But what do you think of that? Well, I think uh, it's just because they are just being newly discovered right now. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, uh, I think South America has been hidden for so many years. And lately, you know, Peru is in the coming and front row right now. And food, a lot of one of the most famous chefs from Peru, Gaston Acurio, who endorses my book, oh. you know, uh, it's, it's known worldwide. And it's just now uh, in the United States, they're learning about Peruvian food. And, and, and actually, not only just food, a lot of these foods that I'm talking in this book uh, are almost newly discovered by the United States. Right. You know? They've been with us forever, but they're so new that, um, you know, they're, they're just learning about the health benefits of these foods. Mm-hmm. It's almost like uh, learning old and that's something new. And uh, yeah, that's how I feel about in here. I mean, these foods are been with us for years. A lot of these foods were eaten by the Incas, mm-hmm. you know, we're talking thousands of years, and uh, and you know, and now hundreds of years now they're just being discovered in the United States, right? And I think your book really helps to you know, many people understand what really about the Peruvian power foods. And I was just intrigued by the color, it's just so beautiful. And colors, yes, oh, yeah, because colors in food provides the phytochemicals, is what provides the colors in food, and that is what gives you the health benefits. Mm-hmm. I believe that's why you know I always say people I eat food with my eyes, that means you know that plate has to look beautiful different colors and if I need some green I just add green you know like a pastry or something so that not only it gives a health benefit but visually it's just so beautiful and you book has that and uh, yeah uh, look at that it's so beautiful and uh, <laughs> yeah so I have to try all of them but uh, let me ask you what is your definition of a you know super food or power foods because I, I like to know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the definition for me is that they're full of vitamins and minerals mm-hmm. and also antioxidants, phytochemicals that are providing you with health benefits. That's how I define something as superfood. I mean, I can use, say, peach berry as an example. Mm-hmm. Right? Peach berry is a berry that grows in the Andes of Peru. And if you look at the nutritional value of peach berry, it's amazing. Peach berry, as you know, 
vitamin D is not present in fruits. The peach berry has vitamin D, mm. has B12, and has protein. And those three are known to be low in other fruits. Peach berries ha have good amounts of these uh, three vitamins. Now, uh, also gives you with alloys, which are a phytochemical known to be an antioxidant, anti-aging, and anti-inflammatory. So here, right there, now we have a antioxidant phytochemical that gives you health benefits as well. So now we're talking nutrition and health benefits at the same time. Okay, that means also for beauty. Oh, hey, yes. Yeah, oh, sounds all like wonderful. Definitely, it's a you know greatest super fruit. Yeah. Um, would you tell us about the process of how you collected the 101 recipes featured in your you know, new book of um, Peruvian Power Foods? That's amazing, 101. And I have to add it again because I'm so in inspired and impressed. 101 recipes with all the photos. How, how did you do that? <laughs> I don't know. Is it from your mom? <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. So, you know, people sometimes ask me, is this a Peruvian cookbook? It, yes and no. It's, it has Peruvian ingredients, but what I've done, I, it has some Peruvian traditional dishes too. Mm -hmm. We have ceviche, we have ají de gallina, seco, uh, many of our Peruvian uh, traditional dishes. But at the same time, I wanted to introduce these foods using American classics, mm -hmm. like pizza, brownie, breads, uh, drinks, coffee drinks. And, and, and I did that in a way that I, I had to like, you know, get inspired by other recipes and think about how in the world I'm gonna combine mm -hmm. these power foods with these recipes. So it was a lot of trial and error uh, a lot of, uh, you know, testing recipes. Right. Actually, they all came out very nice and tasty because I tried every single recipe. Right. And also, I love the fact that your directions are so simple. It's not, you know, like five things no, you have no. to do. It's like, oh, this is it. Yeah. It, it really is. I, I'm, I'm not a chef. I'm a dietitian. I love to cook. So I need to simplify it. And mm -hmm. I need to think about... I work with people, very busy people, right. they always complain of time, mm -hmm. so I needed to come up with recipes that were easy to make and quick to make. And have and to be beautiful, I, right? And have to be beautiful, yeah. always. Yeah, I um, agree. It's interesting because I love to cook, but when I cook my Japanese food, I'm from Japan, um, it's not really traditional, but I definitely use the knowledge and the secret of Japanese, you know, ingredients yes. and the recipe, and I twist with American or I don't say, you know, Western, um, exactly. yeah, taste so and that, I was to do that with this book right, well. yeah. yeah, and you don't use many, you know, ingredients. That's why I think it's wonderful because you can really taste the food, um, you know, all the simple ingredients, and I feel like wow, this food is almost like alive. It still well, has energy. Well, it's exactly. It. I, I like to use a lot of herbs. Uh, the, you know, each recipe had. I, I wanted to enhance the actual food that I was talking about. Mm -hmm. like, I'm talking about cacao. I wanted to enhance the cacao or maca. I wanted to enhance the maca. So I didn't want to cover so much the flavor for those foods. Right. And I have to also add, uh, when my husband saw this book, you know, he saw your profile photo and he said, wow, this guy is such a great shape. And that inspired him to even look at this food. And he said, well, we should start eating like this. So that's, that's a great tip. So right. yeah, how, you are 45, right? I am 45. It's funny because I'm 45 too. Oh, you are too. Wow. <laughs> yeah, 1968, yeah. So it's amazing because I noticed that many people start, you know, telling me about how, you know, their energy levels started dropping dramatically when they turn yes. 40. But I assume you are still feel like super, you know. Oh, I energized. get up every morning. I go to, I exercise at 6 a.m. every day uh, for an hour. And uh, then I have my full day of work and clients and come home and cook. And so my energy is... I, Go, 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 go all day. Right. Like 10, I'm like out. Oh, but it's healthy. Yeah. 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 So another question I have is, um, it was a little difficult to find, you know, these uh, special 
um, power foods from regular grocery store. So I had to order online and I went to a you know, health store and I got these. But where do you recommend, what's the best way for people to find these food? Yeah, well, um, I do have a website myself, eatingfree.com. We have an online uh, store where I have made sure that I carry a lot of these foods there. So I went and collected companies from different places. So it's all in one place now if you can buy it online. Mm -hmm. But, you know, a lot of these foods too can be found in, in, in Latino markets. Mm. And, uh, you know, if you go to your Latin neighborhoods and visit those stores, you can find sections, Peruvian sections, we can find these foods. Uh, Whole Foods carry a lot of these foods now too. Uh, but I mean, the basic stuff like quinoa, kiwicha, mm -hmm. avocados, purple potatoes, sweet potatoes, cilantro can be found in most stores. Right. Uh, we start talking about camu camu, maca, mm -hmm. you know, those those sort of powder foods uh, you can find in Whole Foods or online. Okay. But you can put a combination of the two. Now, the tichu berry fruit is going to be world, uh, worldwide, you, United States wide. Uh, right now, it's all over Arizona, all over California, and soon it's going to be in most markets in the United States. Wow, you know, it might take over a whole market sometime soon because such a great benefit. Yeah. So yes. another question I have is, um, you know, when I go to restaurant or when I, you know, go to party, I, you know, I still like to have a good food. And do you combine, you know, are you very strict with your diet means you eat only Peruvian food or do you eat anything else? Sometimes do you have a junk food too? Oh yeah. No, I, I <laughs> like I said, I'm 80 to 90% of the time I'm eating healthy food. Uh -huh. Peruvian, I'm also eating blueberries, I'm eating strawberries, you know, I eat healthy, clean food. I do allow myself one or two meals, sometimes three meals a week, where I can just maybe deviate. I mean, I love pizza. Come on. I Many times on Saturdays, I'm like, you know, let's go have pizza. Right. So, so I have my fun too. I like my cocktails too. You know, I like everything. I like food, period. When I eat out, I don't, I'm not checking it. All right, all the ingredients, yeah. No, I just order what I like. Right. To be honest with you, I, I, I'm eating clean most days of the week so I can mm -hmm. feel on the times that I go out to eat. Right, so, yeah, that's that's what yeah. I do too, so that, you know, you enjoy your life in the fullest. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, great. I love it. Well, um, I think probably uh, people are interested where they can find the, this book. Well, you yeah. can find it in most bookstores online. Amazon.com definitely has it right now. Okay. So, uh, yeah, Peruvian Power Foods is the book now. Okay, great. And also, uh, they can uh, or, you know order online and go to your website too, right? Yes, you can go to online yeah. or Amazon.com and they'll find it. Okay, right. yeah, so to find uh, his book and also all these uh, special um, powders, um, you can go to the links and then find them. Yes. And uh, do you have any other um, advice to people about food and the beauty? Yes, of course. I mean, for a lot of people, uh, you know, they feel overwhelmed because there's a lot of new foods that I'm talking in this book. Buy the book and try one food at a time, you mm -hmm. know. Don't go buy all of them. So start with pitcher berry, then maybe right. try and then try purple potatoes, you know, or try two at a time. And give it a try. It's, it's kind of, you know, give yourself that chance to in incorporate new foods that are good for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if I start feeling like I have to eat or I have to cook, it's just a little pressure. So might as yes. well enjoy the process exactly. too. Start yeah. The shakes. Shakes are easy to do mm -hmm. and to incorporate some as diet. Right. And also you have a, some dessert section too. Yum. Uh, I love chocolate. So I have a few chocolate. Right. So yeah, and the drinks, so uh, you can pretty much, you know, cover all the good part of uh, a food and lifestyle. It's great. Yeah, thank you very much, Manuel. Thank you for having me. Yeah, and I'm going to definitely try more of the recipe from your book, Peruvian Power Foods, and I feel I'm going to, you know, look young, of course, but most important, be healthy and have lots of energy to enjoy my life. Yeah, okay, so um, everybody, if you want to get to know Manuel more, go to the links and get the books and the super powerful food. All right, thank you very much. Bye, Manuel. Bye. Bye. Bye.